We've never dedicated a whole video to one meal, but this place requires it. Ludwig's Bistro came so highly recommended that we could not pass it by. We started off our meal by sharing an appetizer of beef carpaccio with black truffles and a quail egg. The Alaskan scallops with prosciutto looked so good, we both had to have some. The signature clam chowder had just the right amount of kick to it. And all you know, I do love my clam chowder, and this was five yummers worthy. For our main entree, we both decided to have the Spanish paella, and it was filled with all the local seafood served over a bed of bomba rice. Hi everybody, we have a real wonderful evening tonight. We're at Ludwig's Bistro here in Sitka, Alaska. And we just sat down and have had a wonderful meal, which we're going to talk a lot more about. We have the incredible owner and chef, Chef Edith here. And we're just going to like uh, ask you questions about the restaurant, her food. All right. How's so, good? well, first of all, Paella is beautiful. If you'd like to talk about a little bit about that, or how would you like to start it off? Sure, yes. Um, so we have a Spanish paella. Our restaurant here at Ludwig's Bistro is Mediterranean and Alaskan fusion. So we take lots of Mediterranean flavors and flair, and then we add Alaskan ingredients into it to give you kind of this beautiful taste of the ocean from over there to here. So right now you have in front of you the seafood paella. Um, it's got uh, spot prawns, which were harvested by my friend, Mike. Um, and you also have the weatherman scallops, which came from Yakutat, Alaska. We have a really beautiful saffron fume that goes into the rice, the bomba rice, which we ship directly from Spain. And then we do kind of a controversial, we add chorizo into ours, and we make house-made chorizo. We're super proud of it, and so uh, some people say it doesn't belong in paella, but we say it does. Um, so to reach their own, we're super excited for you to try it. And then we also have mussels and clams and um, your local catch, which today is in Oh, wonderful. So a question, how did you get to Sitka and what made you decide I'm going to open my own restaurant? Um, yeah, so I'm actually a Sitka girl. So I was born here and um, took off and explored the world and found a, a love for the culinary arts. And um, when I had my daughter, I came back to Sitka to raise her here and um, started a catering company. And it just kind of snowballed into this really cool niche that hadn't been met in Sitka at that point in time. And, um, you know, there wasn't really anyone who was dedicated just to catering. And so um, that was a lot of my culinary background was in uh, catering and large events. I worked for professional sports teams. So I have a really big sports service background, which is massive quantities of food to lots and lots of people. And uh, yeah, so just moving back to Sitka and living in a town that's so unique and uh, slow compared to city life. And, and so our food, we really like to have people have time to eat. So each uh, table gets two hours to sit and enjoy um, their meal and their wine and catch up with family and friends and really kind of take that movement that food brings people together and our modern food is love and so we really want to emulate that in the experience and also in the food that we can so and this week has been open how long now yeah so Lucas has actually been open this is its 21st year so I definitely can't take credit for the first 20 years I'm actually a new owner I bought it last year and um, my dear friend Colette Nelson started the big picture 20 years ago and brought it to this elevated experience that everybody knows and loves and so when people come here they expect the same thing which is really lovely she's just an incredible human woman and chef and so really admire her and it was very uh it was very natural when she decided that she was going to retire and 
I was walking out to my van and she was walking out to hers and she looked at me and said, do you want to buy my restaurant? And I said, yes. Yeah. So here we are. Um, we made it through our first year and we're looking to get 20 more. Well, we just want to share with you that this has been a really wonderful meal uh, from the bit, from the get-go of the scallop. Which is, uh, okay, and i got to tell you, anyone who watches the show, watches the video, knows I love my clam chowder. Mm -hmm. The clam chowder has knocked my socks off. I love the spice in it. It does kick to it. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Uh, the carpaccio we have, we love. Oh. Absolutely love, and now we're going to uh, devour this wonderful paella. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Don't listen to people. I love chorizo and paella. <laughs> I put it in my own. Me too. I love the little spice, the little kick that it gives. So. So Grandpa's got how many yummers? <laughs> oh, okay, folks. You know me in the yummery. <laughs> We've given this meal five yummers. That's five out of five. It has been just a feast, a delicious, a, a superl superlative, that's a big word for me, okay, <laughs> let's just say that's why I sleep with yummers, folks, five yummers, if you are in Sitka, you want to come here and eat at Ludwig's, and when you do, you want to say hi to Chef Yuda. She's Thank just fine. She, she makes you feel like you're in her home. <laughs> and that's just a wonderful feeling. I appreciate you two coming in. It's been such a pleasure. Oh, thank you for taking some time to share with us. Absolutely. To share with the, the group. Sure. As you can see, we hated everything. Not. I don't think they'd have to clean the dishes after we were through with them. <laughs>